Well, one of my newer friends in the world of youth ministry that I've been getting to know over the last couple of years is David Correa. And welcome, David. Would you tell everybody where you are and what you do in the place where you are? Oh, yes. Uh, I, I live in Progreso in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, where I live and serve as the uh, pastor of Jesus Presbyterian Church. I also teach at San Pablo Theological Seminary, which is located in Merida, and also uh, serve as the uh, director of the Next Institute, which is a youth ministry program out of the uh, Next uh, Ministry, which is uh, the generational ministry, uh, well, generational mission, actually, mission to the world. Yeah, and, and you and I have gotten to know each other uh, it, primarily through your work with training youth workers, which is a big part of what we do here. And as we started to dialogue and, and talk about how CPYU might, might help you, you know, as always, I have great concerns about how our work crosses over into other cultures, especially when it comes to some of the pressures that kids are experiencing and feeling. And, and I know when we first started to chat, I was curious about, you know, the kinds of things we talk about here are our kids experiencing those things in Mexico and, and are your youth workers through your work there with next, are they having to learn how to navigate things in the same way we would do here in the United States? Uh, yes. Uh, I think that uh, some people might have the uh, wrong impression that uh, kids, teenagers in, in Latin America, uh, don't struggle with the things that uh, youth uh, struggle with in America. But because, well, we belong to a global culture and because they belong to a global youth culture, they actually deal with the same issues. You know, uh, what they live in a over, overly sexualized world. Um, they also have uh, problems with anxiety and depression, and they are uh, hyper-connected and, you know, they are on social media and they face the same pressures that kids uh, in America actually face too. So uh, the, the work of, uh, or the ministry actually of uh, CPYU has been uh, tremendous uh, for us. I mean, it has helped us in, in many, many ways. Yeah, and, and one of the things that we've been able to do during the pandemic, thanks to technology here and specifically Zoom, is I've been able to plug in uh, a few times and we have some plan for the future where uh, I'll be able to actually share some of what we do here at CPYU in terms of youth worker training with your group of youth workers. We've talked about anxiety. Uh, we've talked about some of the cultural forces that are out there. We're going to talk about biblical sexuality, how to navigate that, all these things that you've mentioned here. And that's been a real blessing for me to be able to do that. And I do want to mention uh, to those who are watching that we've been able to provide these things to you with no charge. We want to really serve you folks there in Mexico. And that's all thanks to our donors who, who support us. Uh, are there any in particular resources that you found helpful from CPYU? And I love, maybe you could share a little bit about uh, how you originally found out about CPYU, because that was fun to hear that story from you about that. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I was in, in, in seminary in Orlando back in 1998, I believe. And I ran across a resource, which I uh, found so helpful. It was called Youth Ministry at 2000. I think it was <laughs> renamed later uh, to Youth Ministry at Today, I think. Yes. And that introduced me to a man by the name of Walt Mueller. And uh, so I was, I was uh, you know, captivated. And then I took a youth ministry class uh, in seminary. Jim Byrne uh, taught that class. Uh, my, my wife and I uh, used to work on, on campus uh, cleaning the, uh, the guest condos uh, that RTS owned. Uh, so Jim stayed in one of those. So uh, when we went to clean the apartment after he left, uh, I found uh, on the table some books. And one of them was this. <laughs> That's the old one. That's uh, uh, 
Oh yeah, I have a new one, of course. <laughs> but uh, I, it, it was, you know, like an epiphany, you know, for me, because uh, you know, I, I have served in youth ministry for uh, in one way or the other for thirty years, but um, your ministry actually helped me to better understand youth culture and how to approach youth culture from a biblical and theological perspective. And well, from uh, since that uh, day, I, 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 you know, Jim left the book. I, I you know, I, I began to, to use your resources, uh, your the books you've written. Uh, the website has been <laughs> tremendously helpful for for me. Uh, the podcasts are, you know, both informative and formative as well. So. When I teach my youth ministry classes, uh, you know, I, the name Wolfbuehler <laughs> comes up time and again because, uh, you know, uh, your, your ministry has helped me to um, approach youth ministry in a more informed way, but also it has helped me to become a better cultural ex um, so yeah exegete uh, yeah, I mean you broke up there a little bit I think and the word you used was exegete so you know just yeah, being able I'm to sorry. enjoy the culture which is great yeah yes yes uh yes actually um so I mean I I I, I use your your books and um the, the resources you have on your website so not only I use them for my own benefit, but I also, you know, share with others this, 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 you know, this knowledge and, and all the uh, resources that you have in your website. So, yeah, I, I just want to thank you for that. And also I wanted to say that uh, one thing that impacted me a lot uh, back in 2008 or nine, I don't remember exactly now, but uh, I was, uh, about to, to, to write my, my, my dissertation. And I just, uh, you just thought, well, what if I ask Walt Mueller if we could, you know, just share some insights. And I remember I, I you know, I prayed about it and I, I took the, you know, the phone and I called you and, and I, I actually, I didn't expect you to take the call, but you took the call. And uh, I asked, uh, well, could you please uh, just read through my uh, dissertation proposal? And you said, sure, just send it. <laughs> and I was so impressed. And uh, thank you so much for the many ways you have blessed my life and my ministry. Yeah, you know, I, and just uh, before we finish up here, I want to say this, that, um, and, and our donors need to hear this, that, you know, as I listened to your story, I realized, you know, the first encounter with us was through print. And it was that, you know, we weren't really using the internet a whole yeah. lot uh, because not many people were using the internet. That's how long we've been around. And we, we would put everything in print and send that out to folks. And then, of course, with the advances in technology, even to the point that we can have a conversation like this today. And then uh, when oh, I get yeah. to see all the faces on the screen of all your youth workers, when I engage with them, it's a, it's just a wonderful thing. So I, I really am grateful to God for uh, not just the opportunity to, to serve you folks that we have here at CPYU, but for the good gift of this technology that, uh, by the yeah. way, our donors have provided us with the funds to set us up with all this great stuff uh, to create the resources that yeah. uh, don't have to be sent by the United oh. States Postal Service to Mexico, and we wonder if it's even going to get there. Yeah. Uh, but but the fact that in real time, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> you, can, you know, we can have these conversations. So I'm grateful for you, uh, David, and and for oh, the yeah. relationship that we have. And I'm so thankful uh, for you, for for your family, and and for your donors. Without them, this would be impossible. And I just uh, would like to thank them. I, I don't have the privilege of knowing them personally. But uh, just, just, you know, uh, just be sure that here in Mexico, we so appreciate the ministry of CPYU. So thank you for investing and thank you for sharing uh, generously. So uh, Dr. Mueller can do what he does and 
so he can provide seminars and publications and the website and everything else that is is so valuable for for, for me and for the, the, the for those who work with the youth in mexico uh, yeah so thank you and please please continue doing that because uh it really it really uh is we need cpyu and uh we have been blessed by it and we pray that it will bless us for years to come <laughs> so yeah. thank you thank you hey and, and and we appreciate you here our team here has so appreciated being able to to work with you i want to say thank you many of our donors don't know this but when COVID hit, we started to put together our family table talk devotions. You folks translated many of them into Spanish, and we've been able to share that with others yeah. as well. So uh, to David, thank you to you. We're going to continue to serve you and pray for you. And I would encourage our donors who are watching uh, to pray for the work that's being done in Mexico there, because the needs are just as great as they are here. So so thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. And thank you for this opportunity. Thank you so much.